Welcome to Land Musings. Today I'm going to show you my pilot vanishing point for Capless in the Extra Fine and also the Moon Man A1, also known as Marjon A1, um, which I recently bought just to do a comparison. And also later in the video, I'll show you um, switching out the nibs and popping the pilot nib unit in the Moon Man pen. So this one here is my pilot vanishing point, which I did get in the extra fine. I will note here that I have not been having the best time with my vanishing point and I don't know why, but I figured I'd get this Mahjong pen without the clip and see if that might be the reason why I'm not loving the pilot vanishing point. And here's the Moon Man A1 pen, which I got off AliExpress for a fraction of the price of the Pilot Vanishing Point. So I am super keen to see how they perform against each other. Um, you can already tell with this Moon Man that it is um, not as matte as the Pilot Vanishing Point. I'm not sure what this part is called, but it essentially stops the pen from rolling around which is what the clip would usually do, but without the clip, um, they popped in this little handy stopper. So that's the Moon Man A1 at first glance. And I'll just pop in a Pilot Namiki cartridge in here so that we can compare the two. I also have the Pilot Namiki cartridge in my Pilot Vanishing Point. So the comparison will be like for like. I am opting to use the cartridge only because that is currently what is already in my pilot vanishing point and I don't really wanna uh, I don't really wanna switch it out just for the sake of this video. Um, but it has been a reliable ink and I do enjoy using it. You'll see with the Moon Man A1 at that price point, it is going to be a steel nib and it also looks like a steel nib. Whereas the Pilot Vanishing Point has an 18 karat gold nib and it has this kind of gunmetal dark grey colour to it. And I'll just see if I can capture the nib size in this video. I think you can see here that the Pilot Vanishing Point does appear to be a lot thinner. So that's the two pens side by side. And you can see that the Pilot Vanishing Point has more of a matte finish than the Moon Man. And it is also noticeably more weighted. What I also noticed with the Moon Man is that the spring required for the click action um, tends to fall out. I'll just show you. Also with the Moon Man, the nib unit doesn't seem to slide into the pen body as easily or as seamlessly as the Pilot Vanishing Point. And I guess that's because of the spring and I'll just demonstrate with the Pilot Vanishing Point. You'll see that it does slot right into that little space. While we're here I'll just show you the colour of the nib here which is really unique and I think it makes the pen look super slick. See how the nib unit just slots right in? It doesn't require any pressure to get past that point. Also there is no spring to be seen. Mm. 
Now let's weigh these two pens and see what that difference is in weight. So we have here the Pilot Vanishing Point at 32.4 grams. And the Moon Man at 31.9. So that's only really a difference of 0 0.5 grams. And let's weigh the nib unit and see how much that weighs by itself. 6.5 grams for the Moon Man and 6 grams for the Pilot Vanishing Point. And now the body of the Moon Man is 25.3. And the body of the vanishing point is 26.3. So I would attribute the difference in the nib unit in the actual ink cartridge because I have used the ink in the pilot vanishing point. That leaves most of the difference in weight um, being in the body of the pen. I'll just grab my Rhodia notepad so we can test out these pens. I think what we'll do is compare the lines with the Muji pens, because I think most people are familiar with these gel pens. So we have the Muji 0.5 and also the Muji 0.38, which is my favourite. And you'll see, I think that is the one that is closest to the Pilot Vanishing Point, um, if anything, just a tad thicker. I've just brought the camera a little closer so you can see the line variation a little better. So I've got here the Pilot Vanishing Point, which you can see is very thin. This is the extra fine. And just comparing that against the Moon Man A1. You can already tell it is quite a bit thicker, but I will say it is a lot smoother. My main issue with the Pilot Vanishing Point is that it's um, really scratchy and that may not be the case for everyone, but I have a quadropod grip which doesn't work well with the clip on the Pilot Vanishing Point. So again, we have the Moon Man A1 in extra fine, which I think aligns with the Muji 0.5. And the Pilot Vanishing Point is very similar to the Muji 0.38. If anything, maybe it's a 0.35. And what we'll do next is swap out the nib unit in the Moon Man for the Pilot Vanishing Point body so that we can see if the reason for the scratchiness of the Pilot Vanishing Point is because of the clip 
and the angle that it forces me to write at. See how it springs back up? That doesn't happen with the pile of vanishing point. Um, it does get a bit cumbersome, but no big deal. I also do find the click much more satisfying with the original pilot vanishing point. And if you have a look at these two nibs, you can see with the moon man it juts out a little more than the pilot. Let's see weight-wise what difference it makes. I guess we could do math for this, but uh, I have a scale right here, so why not? The Moon Man with the Pilot Nib Unit is 31.4. And the Pilot Body with the Moon Man Nib Unit is about 33. Now let's test out how the Pilot Vanishing Point writes without a clip on the body. And that has made a significant difference for my quadrupod grip. I am so relieved <laughs> to have found this solution. I almost gave up on the Pilot Vanishing Point altogether, but this investment of what 35 Australian dollars uh, means I get to keep the pilot vanishing point in my life and have a extra fine nib for my Hobonichi weeks. And now let's just see if the clip impacts how I write with the Moon Man. interesting that it is still super smooth so I probably would attribute the scratchiness of the pilot vanishing point in its original body with the fact that it is a gold nib um, because it is a gold nib there's a little bit of flex to it the tiniest teeniest amount of flex to it which I guess is what causes it to scratch and snag a little when you're riding with it at a particular angle. I'll just bring the notepad closer to show you here the difference in the line widths. Yeah, I would say the Moon Man is like the 0 0.5 and the Pilot Vanishing Point is similar to the Muji 0 0.38. What I might do also here is just compare these line widths with the Twisby Diamond 580 in the Extra Fine. Um, this one is currently inked with pilot Iroshizuku Takasumi so it won't be exactly the same but I think what you'll see is it is somewhere in between So 
So we've got the pilot vanishing point at a 0 0.3, the twisby probably at a 0 0.4, and the moon man at a 0 0.5. And that's the end of my moon man A1 comparison with the pilot vanishing point. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it was informative for my fellow quadropod group friends out there. I hope this is something that can solve all of your problems with the pilot vanishing point. Um, thank you for joining and I will see you in the next one. Bye!